Uh, hello. Uh, to print out, I recommend uh, opening viewports in the layout tab because if you print everything, it will look small and uh, you can customize the way you want it to be uh, when you print out. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, click on uh, the layout. If you click on the layout, you find here that you are printing everything. Uh, there are actually several ways to print out. Let me show you here how to create a viewport. So I can uh, go ahead and select that with left click on the mouse, delete it. And from the layout tab, click on the rectangular. Let's uh, click on a rectangular and open a window uh, over there. As you see now, we have everything. If you double click inside, okay, let's select that window. And um, you see that you can zoom in and out, okay? You see that it is active, but you need to double click inside, not outside. If you click outside um, there, so you will zoom in with a page. We don't need that as a paper space. So you need to make sure you have the viewport active. You can zoom in and out. So if you need to print out uh, just this section, for example, or any single detail like the stairs, you can zoom in to have it over there. Okay, so let's zoom in. And as you see, we have the grids. Um, so what we can do is uh, click on the uh, F7 or display the grid uh, to uh, have them off. In this way, you can zoom in to, uh, to get this printed out. Uh, also, if you want to lock it, you can lock it so you don't uh, mess around with that. You can open as many as you want layout. And here you see the, another layout. Uh, also, you can um, get the other section or the other view, uh, whatever the detail that you want it to be there. If you don't need uh, that all, you can double click outside to select the viewport. You can uh, customize it uh, just to show uh, the parts that you want it to be uh, over there. Okay. As you see here, you can make it smaller just to fit the parts that you want it to be displayed. You can make that as big or small as you want it. And now <clears throat> you can click outside. If you need, again, uh, to, um, to disappear this or hide this uh, grids so you can click on that part. Uh, another way you can, um, if you don't need that viewport to be displayed, what I recommend creating a layer for this. So if you have a layer, you can turn it off and on so you hide uh, this border of the viewport as well. Now, uh, each layout, you can give it a name. Uh, you can right click and rename it. Let's say that here, um, uh, first floor, for example, and the other one, you can right click or double click and make it a second floor or any other name that you would like to give. Uh, now, after finishing this, you can go ahead and print. Uh, you can plot from on the top here, the quick access bar or just from the application menu. Uh, you can uh, print or publish. So let's see here one way. Uh, here you go. Uh, the first thing you need to select the plotter. Uh, so if you have a like a, a printer set it up already, you can choose that printer. Uh, or if you need it uh, to be as a PDF, also you can uh, choose. Uh, the PDF from there. I'm going to go Microsoft print to PDF in this uh, section. And let's see here, preview. As you see, this is the preview. And as I mentioned, this uh, viewport, uh, if you need to hide it, you need to move it to a different layer and hide it. Uh, now, this is one uh, viewport. Okay. And here, you can have uh, different settings, drawing, orientation, landscape, or if you need a portrait that will change how um, the look, how the orientation of the page. Like if I make it portrait, then a preview, you see now uh, the layout uh, is different. If you make the landscape preview, 
Okay, so make sure you, you make some review and set up uh, the page. If you need it to be um, uh, like, uh, if you need to choose the page uh, size, like if it's an A4, so you can make that A4 and a preview. Okay, now this is for the first one. If you need the second one, uh, when you finish here, you can uh, get uh, applied layout. Okay, then okay, and that will take you here. You can save it as PDF. Like I can save it on um, navigate to the correct place, give it a name and save it. So here, for example, I will make that second and it's in the document. So I'm gonna save that, okay? Uh, so this is the first one. The second one will be here. You do the same thing. Uh, you can uh, go uh, to print, choose PDF, preview, and here you go. This is what you're going to uh, save. Now uh, you can close. If you need to change any orientation, you can do that. And uh, then click OK. And here you give it another name first, and then you click save. Okay, so this is one way. Now you saved both of them as PDF. And if you need to plot several ones, you can <clears throat> go to the application menu. And uh, here from print, you can, uh, <clears throat> you can make batch plot. And as you see here, you can uh, get the first and the second when you publish with PDF apartment uh, PDF. Now you can publish both both of them um, as as one PDF if you need to publish more than one uh, layout uh, together. Okay, so this is the way. Another thing uh, that I need to talk about is the model. If you are in the model space and you need to uh, print out right from the model space. Uh, so here you can do um, print. Again, you can print uh, <clears throat> P enter or just uh, from the application menu or print from uh, there. Uh, what we have something running in the background. Now, if you can uh, do uh, print from there when when it's done we need to wait till complete the first uh, job okay let me do that so again you can go from the application uh, menu print okay and that will open up uh, the uh, print uh, dialog for the model and here remember now i'm in the model space not in the layout uh, tab okay i'm in the model so from here you can always make a display um, you have different options if you need to choose specific one you can go to window uh, click on window and uh, select the part that you want it to be printed then select your printer or save it as PDF. Now you can review. Okay. And as you see now, it is um, on the bottom of uh, the page. And this is the way that it will be saved. Uh, to do uh, that, you can change the orientation to landscape. Also, you can center uh, the plot in the middle. Let's preview again. So now it looks better. Okay, and again, it will be saved as PDF. So when you click OK, that will open the dialog box and give it a name and location to be saved. Okay, so here you uh, give it the name, then you save it. Okay, uh, I think that will be uh, good on how to uh, print. Remember, we printed in two ways, right from the model space and from um, the first floor, second floor, which is a layout top. Uh, remember that you can, um, you can create as many tabs as you want. Like if you need another one, you can do that. And while you are in the layout tab, you can always click on uh, the layout on the top. Okay, let me see here. I just need to take this off. Okay, so this is the layout. Uh, 
and here you can get rectangular and you can create as many as you want like you don't have to create just one you can create several uh, viewport and in each one you can zoom in and out and you can uh, do that in each one so remember that you can uh, zoom in for example if you need the stairs uh, in this place okay you can zoom in to display the uh, the stairs uh, detail here you can display uh, the <clears throat> other details in the second one let's say that i need here the bathroom so i can display this bathroom here and if you need to modify the size okay feel free to select it and when you see the scripts you can change that if you don't have a, a scale you can apply the scale also uh, when you click on the viewport you see here the scale and you can choose the scale that you want it if you need it one to ten you want hundred and that depends on uh, the size of your drawing i hope that was useful and, and always i welcome any questions you have thank you